Hey guys, Randy with Pete's RV TV here today. Today we're on our way to Lone Pine Campground in Mallets Bay, Vermont. We're going to uh, show you how to back up a camper and put it on the site. So uh, we'll be there in just a minute and we'll catch up with you then. Okay, here we are at beautiful Lone Pine Campground. They're nice enough to let us use the site today. So I'm just gonna pull past my site. We're gonna be on site 31. I'm gonna hop out and uh, take a look at the site and see where I wanna put this camper. And then we're gonna go right ahead and back around the site. Okay, so what I've done at this point, and this is the easiest way to put your camper on the site, is I've driven past the site and I've got the site on the driver's side of the truck. I do that on purpose so I can see um, where the slide side or the off door side of the camper is going because that's the side that we want to keep as far this way as possible to give us more real estate on the usable part of our site. So if you can all, it all do that when you pull up to your campsite, try to keep the driver's side on, the, on the, the site side. Not all the time you'll be able to do that, but if you can, uh, that's definitely going to work in your benefit. So at this point, I just kind of walk the site and see what I've got uh, that I got to avoid or if there's any trees in the way we see we've got a big stump here I see my power pedal still is over here so I'm gonna to want to keep my camper um, keep in mind that I've got a slide that's gonna go out but I want to keep my camper as far this way as possible to give me as much real estate on that side as I mentioned before so this looks like a pretty open site which most campsites are we just got to contend with the stump there my power cord is gonna be in the back so that'll work out perfectly for me so I guess what I'm gonna do now is just hop back in the truck and uh, see if we can negotiate this guy on the site Okay, so I'm going to pull ahead just a hair and I'm going to uh, kind of put the tail of my camper headed in the right direction that I want to back this guy up on. Now very important at this point is remembering that our wheels are the pivot point for our camper. So that's where the camper is going to turn. So I don't want to watch the front of the camper or the back so much. I want to keep my eyes on the wheels. So here we go. And sometimes when I'm driving a different truck, this truck's working out pretty well, but sometimes I'll even angle the mirror down so I can see the wheels a little bit better. So I'll make sure I got nothing going on on the other side of me. And I'm just letting the camper kind of do the job here. Keeping an eye on both mirrors. Obviously turn the steering wheel the opposite way that you want the unit to go. And as you start getting close to where you want to be straight, that's when you want to start counter steering. And we're getting the unit on there pretty straight. Nothing on the other side. Boy, I think I'm going to hit this one pretty good right off the bat. Now, if you're finding that you're not backing on straight or, you know, the, the camper just keeps jackknifing on you a little bit, maybe you don't have enough room in front of the truck to um, get the truck out where you need it to to get you straight, you always can put the truck back in drive and pull forward and straighten the trailer out. So if you've gone too fat, too far past and the camper's going the wrong way or the, the back end of the camper has gone too far the way you don't want it to go, simply put the truck in drive and pull straight ahead and that's going to straighten the unit out for you. So we're going to just back this guy up here. I think I've hit my mark. Now this is uh, the point where if you've watched my uh, leveling video is where you want to get out and check the camper for level. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so that first time went very easy because there's not a whole lot of people in the park. So now I'm going to try to simulate a full park with cars and campers on my other side. And I'm going to try to keep my vehicle on the road without going on the lawn over there like I did on the last uh, pull in. So this time I'm going to start backing up a little bit sooner so i've just got my camper kind of headed and you can see the, with the camper headed it's going to start to turn even with my truck straight and the camper is just starting to turn more and more so i'm going to compensate just a hair now for it now i'm really going to jackknife this camper and try to swing this thing around now I can start to turn my truck a little bit. So I've stayed on the road for the most part. I've got my camper pretty straight, but you see that the back end of the camper still wants to swing around because I don't have enough room in front of the truck to get it to where I want to go. And this is where people mostly run into trouble. So I've got a trick for this too. If I keep backing up, my back end of my camper is just going to keep swinging where I don't want it to swing. A lot of people will go back and forth and back and forth and they never find that happy spot. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to stop the truck right here 
and I'm gonna unhook the camper. Sounds crazy, but this will get you out of a pinch in a second. Okay, so as you can see, we turned off the camera. Um, I back, I unhooked the truck from the camper. I resituated my truck, so now my truck is straight in line with the camper, and we can continue to back up on the site, and now we're not gonna be jackknifing or having the camber uh, off angle on our site because I've now straightened the truck out, and that was our problem. So I'm gonna hop back in the truck and finish backing up on the site, and we're gonna be good to go here. Okay, so here we go, back up for our final destination destination if you got somebody with you behind you to keep the, an eye out not a bad idea I think that looks good right about there so at this point I'm gonna get out and uh, do a couple of the checks that I like to do just to make sure I've got enough room now uh, we know we've got our stump here so I'm gonna do my arm check we've got plenty of room there I'm right off my electrical box. My electrical cord is going to be here, so I'm within my 25 feet here. I think this looks like a great spot. I'm going to run the slide out out and uh, put uh, check the levels on the front of the camper and see if we're level, and then we're going to take it from there. So, in a nutshell, a lot of people get intimidated by this. It's a really simple process. Uh, don't care about anybody watching me. I'm just focused on what I'm doing. It does take a little bit of practice. You're not going to hit the mark on the first time out, but the more and more you do it, and the less you worry about other people watching you, the easier it's going to be for you. So um, just follow my quick tips. Make sure you watch your wheels, watch your mirrors. If you can't get the camper exactly where you want, unhook the truck and resituate the truck, and the next time you'll be right on the site right where you want it. So thanks again for watching Pete's RV TV with Randy today. New segment here for you. Hopefully this will help you make your camping a little bit easier. Check out our other videos. Check out our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook page. We've always got a great information on there as well. So thanks again for watching Pete's RV and happy camping.